Spider Wayne here, and today I'm giving away the Star Wars Speeder Bike Drone. <laughs> Hey, so in my last video I gave away the Star Wars X-Wing drone. This time I'm doing the speeder bike. And uh, like the last one, the Propel uh, display box, it's really awesome. Uh, they have a little bit of a speeder bike out here. And when you lift the lid, this one also will give you some sounds. I'll lift it one more time. So unlike the X-Wing, it only does two sounds. It doesn't do about four like the X-Wing did. But still pretty neat. It lights up. Uh, you can keep that lid up by plugging it in if you want. Uh, when you get this, if you win it, it has these uh, little wax seals on each side and they say cut them in half to open this but if you just kind of pry it from the top a little bit like I did you can take it off like I did here. so um, I want to go over a few things before you get this in case you win and uh, I want to show you things like the remote and how it flies and some uh, maybe do's and don'ts so I'll be right back okay few things I wanted to show you, but I definitely wanted to let everybody see the detail on this speeder bike drone. Propel did a really great job. They did a really nice job on the X-Wing and they did another nice job on the speeder bike. So I want to go over a few things so that when you get this, you don't break it right out of the box. I thought I should show you how to change the battery, which is under here, and maybe put the propellers on and take them off. Um, let me go over the propellers really quick. When you get this, there'll be two sets of propellers, A's and B's. They're marked on here, so you, you'll be able to tell what they are. The A's will go top left, which is actually from underneath, and bottom right. Okay, so A's are top left, bottom right, and the B's will be top right, bottom left. To put them on, Basically, you just need to line up these holes here. Maybe do a little better job than I'm doing right now. Take this and push it on a little bit, and then probably would be a good idea. You could push them on, but I say finish it off with the tool that they give you, which is this little piece right here that you line up. And then once you have it lined up, you just push it down all the way and that's it okay so I'm just, just gonna show you the one for time oh you know, by the way they give you this little tool this is this part here is how you take it off so you would slide it under might as well show you you slide it under right here and just kind of work it off okay and that's it so now let's get to the battery to take the battery out, first you gotta, or to put a new one in, you gotta pop this guy up. <laughs> it looks so weird. And then um, take this back part right here, the back of the seat, and you gotta maybe get your fingernail in there and push it forward. Make sure you hear that little snap, and then slide it out. There's a tab here and a tab here. So these are how you line it up to take it out, put it in. The battery looks exactly the same, and it has these tabs. So you're gonna take the battery, slide it in, push it down, and don't forget that little pad. Make sure you push it all the way back till it snaps in. Drop this little guy down. See these little tabs right here? There's one here, and there's one on the other side here. His knees have these little parts these little divots right there that you just make sure that they they make a connection that they go all the way down in there you don't want your your rider to fly off the speeder bike right okay 
Once you do that, you'll see these lights are blinking. That means it's ready for the remote, which I'm gonna show you next. Okay, one more thing before I get to the remote. These propellers, if you go to uh, the Propel website and you look under the Star Wars drones um, section and find the speeder bike, you can order parts. And if you go and you find the propellers, at least at the moment right now, you can order, I think it's one or two sets for free. The only thing you have to pay is shipping, which for me was about three bucks. So I suggest you go ahead and do that because they send you the same package that it comes with, which is about two or three sets in the package. So yeah, good idea to get that. Okay, now on to the remote. So this remote is pretty neat. Every time you turn it on, which is by pushing this red button, <laughs> you get a different sound every time you turn it on. Let me turn it off. Okay, turn it back on again. And back off. I think there might be a few more sounds, but I want to show you a few other things real quick. Um, it comes with a screwdriver on the side here that slides out, okay? And what that's for is the battery compartment, which is right here. You unscrew this, you take this cap off, and sometimes when you do that, the, the remote, whether batteries are in it or not, sometimes it will make a sound, it'll vibrate, and it'll say something like, insert the batteries, um, the force needs you, or something like that. So, uh, and there's a little light right here that says, may the force be with you, that will light up. Again, that's not every time you take this cover off, but some of the times. There is a headphone jack right here, in case you wanna just listen to the remote with headphones, instead of uh, having everybody else around you have to hear it too. The speaker's right there. Uh, you have your buttons. Let me put the screwdriver back in. Okay. You have buttons here. Uh, these are your trigger buttons for making those great Star Wars pew, pew, pew sounds. And these are your flip, flip or uh, barrel roll buttons. So, yeah, you can barrel roll right, barrel roll left. Uh, you got your regular controls and things here. To, to connect to the drone, once you turn it on, you take this one here, you go up and down, and it connects. Then what I suggest you do before taking off is push this button here and hold it for a couple seconds, and you'll hear that that it's uh, the systems are engaged or synced or something. It tells you that it's ready. And then to take off, you press this button hold it for a couple seconds and the drone will take off now there's a couple other settings like if you hold these two down together now you have volume up and down control because it is pretty loud right out of the box there are a couple other settings that you can do like um, power settings for like you know beginners and advanced and th this and that such as one of the things you can do is push that all the way up and now you have like full control Okay, but if you take this down, you see it always returns back down to the middle. Um, these three bars right here, this is because you can play with other people that also have the Propel Star Wars drones. Doesn't matter which ones they have, but you can shoot at each other when you're flying, and every time you get hit, your, your remote will shake, and one of these, it'll have three lights. One will go out each time you get hit, and by the third time you get hit, your drone will be forced to land. Um, letting you know that you just lost. Okay, so pretty neat. There is one more piece up here. This part here will hold like a cell phone and um, that is for, there's like a, a simulator that comes with the app and you connect this to your phone and you can fly around in the app and practice without actually flying your drone. So that's kind of neat too. And I think that's it. I want to get to some flight for you and uh, take a look below for instructions on the giveaway. It'll run for about two weeks, just like the X-Wing did. And oh, you know, there are three drones in a set. There's the X-Wing, there's the speeder bike, and there is also a TIE Fighter. So will there be a third giveaway coming up? 
Yes, there will. So I will have a third one to give away. Make sure that you subscribe and hit the little bell icon down below so that you're notified every time I put out one of these videos so you don't miss any of my giveaways. Thanks a lot and good luck.